Guys, let's sing to it. When you get caught in the rain with no... You don't like Mariah Carey? Okay. But um, but um, uh... Okay, not Kylie Minogue either. Hey guys, we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Please subscribe. Here in Manila, yes. The big city, guys. Man, it's been a while since I've seen buildings and skyscrapers. Guys, we are here in BGC for someone's birthday. Guys, the Matsuyamas, hi. There's Mark, Aaron, and Ro. Ro, happy, happy birthday. birthday yes, may all your dreams come true. We love you so much. Mabuhai Squad, it's Ro's birthday, and we are here at their favorite Japanese place called Ogawa. Look at that, guys. Look. Mmm. Ro got an upgrade, guys. No, all three of you. Yeah, everyone. Oh, we did? Oh, we got an upgrade. Because <laughs> it was Ro's birthday. And she has, she's, she's got, like, ties with the chef. Like, she's friends with the chef. Look, they gave us all these freebies, too. Mmm. <gasps> Do any of you guys like sushi? Look at that. It's a work of art. Japanese food. Honestly, it's art. Look at that. Mm. By the way, guys, if you're new to the vlogs, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos. We are here in Manila, Philippines in BGC at Ogawa for roast birthday. Welcome to another vlog. Let's eat. Oh my gosh. This is called um, uni. Guys, you know uni? If you don't know uni, this is from the gods. It's basically the gonads of a, what's it called? Sea a sea urchin, guys. It's so yummy. I love sea urchin gonads. Okay. And it's raw. Mm. <gasps> guys, this restaurant, probably one of the best in Manila. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of those a scallop. Mm. The scallop is so good, it's like sweet. Mabuhai spot. This food, this Japanese food, is five Mabuhai stars. Guys, RJ gave me his uni too. Like, look at this. Mm. Is this the fatty tuna? Fatty tuna, yeah. Oh, so isn't this your favorite, Erin? Or yeah. Fatty tuna, guys. Guys, there's even abalone on here. Do you guys know abalone? It's like this sea creature that looks. Jaya, can you put the picture right here? It's like a sea creature that looks. Well, I'm not gonna tell you what it looks like. It looks like this. <laughs> but what's funny? They're gonna deep fry this shrimp head for me. Oh, actually, no, I'm not gonna eat fried. Sorry, I don't know what. I can eat it like this, though, right? Okay, I'm gonna eat it raw. Thank you. I forgot. I'm trying to eat healthy. Mmm. Shrimp is sweet. Mmm. It's good raw too. Okay, guys, let's try the abalone. I feel like I'm chewing an ear. <laughs> no flavor. Guys, this is Ro. And this is Ro too. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Guys, look at that cake. Yum. What's up, my Buhai squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, today is a gorgeous day today. Gosh, look at clear skies, bright hot sun. We got Polly, the robot, vacuuming the pool. I'm definitely gonna get in there later. I've been up super early today. Just got back from the gym. Mm-hmm. I achieved so much. 
And it's not e I think it's noon now. Yay! Guys, let's see how our blue iguana Magnus is doing. Oh, I see him. He's right there. See him? Hi, Magnus. Let's go in. Hi, Magnus. Did you eat yet? Now, I see that Magnus kind of has like some bruising and scraping going on at the front of his muzzle. Um, and that is from rubbing up against the cage as he's trying to get out. This actually happened with my other iguanas downstairs, but the iguanas eventually stop trying to get through the mesh, and then that kind of scab heals um, during their next uh, few sheds. So, aw, poor Magnus. You okay? Here, do you want some kangkong dusted with calcium but as you can see he's really calm with me being around right now there we go he's been adapting quite well guys remember before he used to be so scared of me good boy healthy veggies so for those of you who are new to iguanas this is a green iguana there are several other species of iguana out there but this is the most common one in the pet trade they're called green iguanas but he's blue, he's a blue color phase. Now, um, it took many like generations of selective breeding in order to produce this awesome highlighter blue color. But as a result, these like color special color phase iguanas often have imperfections uh, because of inbreeding. And let me show you something I noticed about Magnus's anatomy here it just makes them special so there's like an imperfection on this side of the face you see the eye and the jaw and that's just a birth defect like a mutation due to all the inbreeding to produce this kind of color of iguana he's still healthy it's not anything that will really affect his health but it's just a result of all the inbreeding i love that he is willing to feed from my hand. Here, I'll just lift the entire plate. Here. No? Okay. I'll just feed you leaf by leaf then. Here. One more. We also give him carrots. He eats banana. Um, sweet potato leaves. Do you want? There. <laughs> Yum! Now I can also see that he's shedding. See? See these? See up here? It's coming off. Okay, don't worry. I won't touch. But I am so glad he's getting used to me being around. Just hang out. Hang out in your huge pen. Good boy. Actually, inside, I wish all the iguanas could live here. This is built for the dogs. Well, actually, this dog run is really multi-purpose. Wow, he's still still eating. <laughs> it really only took him three days to kind of like chill out. More? Would you like more? Yes. <laughs> Let's grab a bit more. I love feeding him. He's going to grow up to be a big boy. Guys, this is not full grown. They grow up to five, six feet. Here, you want? Yes. Can you imagine a five, six foot lizard this big? So it's good you tame them like this when they're young. Our guests will love feeding Magnus here. And that was a successful interaction between reptile and man. Now guys, as you know, we have another reptile in here. Let's see. It's our red-eared slider turtle. Oh, there he is. Holy, he went down quick. Did you see that, guys? He flew down. I guess he was sun basking. By the way, they can sun bask while floating on the water, guys. I think a lot of people assume that they can only soak up the sun's rays while on land, which is not true. They can float on the top of the water effortlessly and just absorb UV light that way. Okay, Donatello, I know you're in here. I saw you. I'm glad you're alive. And I see that he's been eating a lot of these plants. See? Oh sugar, oh sugar, sugar. Oh honey, honey, 
Yes, I know. I know. It's okay. I've come bearing gifts. I've got something for you. Yeah. Here. Here. You got a gift. Yum. Perfect. Okay. It's time to come with me. We have some bonding to do. This here is Sugar, guys. He's a sugar glider. Um, you guys saw him in previous vlogs. He's a marsupial. So it's like this special group of mammals that are not eutherian like us. So when they give birth, this little tiny little gummy slimy thing comes out and crawls into a pouch where they further develop. And then when they're ready, they emerge from the pouch. So kangaroos, koala bears, that kind of thing. Tasmanian devils. I'm just gonna close that to keep the dogs out while I continue to bond with sugar here. I hear him chewing the almond. Do you hear him? He's like. <laughs> I think he is starting to learn that being with me equals treats. Sugar, would you like an organic goji berry? Hmm? I got another treat for you. Yes. Organic goji berry. Mm -hmm. Here he comes. You guys gotta see what I'm seeing right now. It's an organic goji berry. Mmm, see? Yummy. <laughs> he loved it. Here, here you go. Yum. Mmm. You like it? It's delicious, right? He's taking bites of it. Ooh, and you are stinky. Guys, sugar gliders have this musk. Here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put you in my shirt now. Guys, this bonding process is really working out well. The reason why sugar glider owners bond with their gliders is because they're capable of imprinting. So like right when they're born and they come out of pouch, meaning they've developed enough to leave the mother's pouch, uh, that's when people start to bond with the baby sugar gliders and you do this you wear them through the day and they get used to your smell they get used to the sound of your voice being around people um and they learn that humans are okay and when you keep doing this when they're young they really tame out very well like they'll stay on your body when i was younger i had two sugar gliders one which was half wild so no matter how much i tried to bond with her she would not come anywhere near me she would bite me and it would hurt. But my other one, um, who I got as just a baby Joey, they're called Joey's by the way, just like kangaroos. He bonded to me a lot and he would stay on my body, jump off, and then when I would move away, he would run and jump on me. It's kind of like that. So um, as you can imagine, these cute little creatures become popular pets. But I'm trying to bond with him because, I, not really to imprint on me, where he's like bonded to me for life, because I cannot be awake in the night to play with him. But I just want him to be okay with handling, with being around humans, um, me being around and that sort of thing. So it's more of like socializing is what I'm trying to do with him. We are planning on getting him a female because these things live in groups in the wild. They're very social. So we might, we'll get him a female. We probably might even get him like more than one female, so they could all just kind of live together as a family. And backstory for this sugar glider is he had a wife. <laughs> he was already bonded to another female who sadly passed away last year. Um, so he's two years old now. He's been a widow, I guess, for a year. Um, but soon he will have a new partner. But for now, he'll just have to settle for me and RJ. Yes. And I think this bonding process is really great. He's gone back to sleep. They wake up at night, guys. So at this time, super sleepy, which is perfect for the bonding process. <laughs> Cypher's like, why you betray me? Why can't I be part of this? What is that creature? It smells funny. Let me in. No, Cyf, sorry. Guys, let's sing to it. When you get caught in the rain. When the... You don't like Mariah Carey? Oh. 
okay. Param, param. <laughs> okay, not Kylie Minogue either. Every day is so wonderful, and suddenly it's hard to breathe. Yes, he's an ex Dina fan. Now and then I get insecure from all the pain. I'm so ashamed. I am beautiful, no matter what they say. Yes, words can bring me down. Cause I am beautiful in every single way. Yes, words can't bring me down, oh no. So don't you bring me down today. Guys, I feel pregnant. I feel pregnant, yes, <laughs> all right. I'm a few months in, guys. <laughs> this has been an awesome bonding session. Sugar, I respect you and welcome you to this family. All right, Shugs. There you go. Awesome! I would say that was an awesome bonding session, guys. Yay! OMG, guys. <gasps> the pool water is so warm. Yes, I love when it's like this. Guys, I love when the water's like this. Oh, because... Oh. It's the best. I think the water is at 30, 32 degrees C, something like that. It's been sunny these past couple of days. So, oh, it's just wonderful. And it's not hot water. It's not like bath warm water, no. It's like just the perfect temperature. You just feel the water. You don't feel any hot. You don't feel any cold. It's just perfect. Let us swim together, Mabuhai squad. There's Lendon and Ate Elsie doing a bit of maintenance. Oh. There's Polly. Hi, Polly. Oh. Look. Look at the forest, Mabuhai squad. Oh my gosh, the sun coming out right now. It's awesome. I love, love, love our palm trees slowly but surely growing for some reason they're not growing as fast well that middle one is growing steadily um, but they don't seem to be growing as fast as those palm trees on the other side look see those lighter green palm branches it's doing really well um, guess it has to do with soil quality and I don't know, maybe sun? I don't think sun, but like, it. this one here is really growing much faster than the other palm trees. I love palm trees. These smaller palm trees here are mini date palm trees. I wonder if it'll give us dates. Mmm, there's some on the other side too. See, they're a bit spiny though, so you can't really touch them. They've got spiny branches. Mabu High Squad. Let's look at the sky. Sky is awesome. Again, beautiful clouds. And it's like they reveal the sun and then they hide the sun and they reveal the sun. It's kind of a nice ever-changing light. See, here comes the sun now and beaming in the pool. I just love it. Love it so, so much. OMG, look Mabu High Squad. Here at the bar, look what I saw. A huge furry caterpillar. Oh my. If I were to have stepped on that, I would have one swollen and itchy foot. So this caterpillar, so hairy. It's actually not technically hair because it doesn't grow from follicles like in like animals. It's urticating hair, so it's it's a uh, extension. They're setae. That's the technical term for it, and it grows out of their body, and it's itchy, guys. Where did it go? Wait, I gotta see this up close. 
So it turns into a, a moth, I believe. Gotta watch out, I don't wanna step on it. There it is. Look, see? Wow, what a creature. So those hairs are defensive and they break off and they cause a lot of irritation on skin. Like if a dog were to come and bother it, it could cause the dog to really swell up. Man. And another insect, guys. Look at it. It turned to look at me. Hi. Guys, I think it's an assassin bug of some kind. Wow. Hi there. I'm not going to hurt you. So if this is an assassin bug, it catches other insects and sucks them. Like, it's got a long proboscis, which is like a, a tube. See that sharp tube? at its face, it stabs that into an insect and sucks the juices out. It's a very savage predator and I shouldn't get too close because it can bite me. Oh, a fly tried to land on it. Oh wow, and look, it's flexing the proboscis right now. Dangerous. I definitely do not want to get bit. Assassin bug, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that fly really ticked it off. All right, I'll let you go. Go eat predators and pest insects. I'm glad I saw it before stepping on it. Mmm, we got pineapple, guys, and tons of mangosteen. Love. Yes, my favorite fruit. You guys know this. I always talk about this and show you guys this in the vlogs. It looks like this inside. The tastiest fruit ever. And as you can see, I've eaten many already today. <gasps> Look at that. Mm, so healthy. Mm. 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 Explosion of tart sweetness. Mm. Guys, this here's the aviary. How are you birds enjoying this beautiful weather? Hmm? Huh? <laughs> Blue napes hanging up there. The crimson belly Conyers up here. OMG guys, something just arrived. And I think, yes! Woo! Guys, check this out. Guys, it's Suga's wheel, exercise wheel. It's smaller than I thought. Oh. Okay. I thought it would be much bigger, but we ordered this exercise wheel from online for sugar gliders. But the sugar glider exercise wheel I used to have back in the day was big, like twice this size. But it says it's for sugar gliders, so it should work. Oh my gosh, cool. Look at it, guys. See? And sugar can run through this wheel and it will spin. And you can get lots of great exercise. Um, cool, neat. And, oh, the coolest part, guys. Look at this. It comes with some sandpaper. See? Isn't that cool? So that um, as the sugar glider runs through this wheel, um, it can trim its nails. Yes. <gasps> cool. Okay. Wow. Now, the thing is, you have to constantly change this... Um, paper because the sugar glider will pee and poo on it. But I remember it being so effective at trimming their nails, which helps when you the sugar glider is tame enough to like be crawling all over your body because their nails can like <laughs> the little daggers. So this will attach to the side of the cage. You can see, you'll be able to run through it. It's silent, so it doesn't go and sometimes they stop and they go, woo, woo, woo. Um, and then this outer part, like there's a sandpaper outer layer secured by little tiny nuts and bolts, um, allow him to trim his nails every time he passes this region. So there's an extra one for replacement. And it's just really great. Let's install this into his uh, enclosure now. 
All right, guys, so first things first, gonna give Sugar a treat, a goji berry. See, he just woke up. It's just me, it's okay. I've got a treat, here you go, Sugar. He's already coming to the edge of the sock. Yes, I got a treat for ya. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Go ahead. Here. Yummy. Okay, I'm just gonna work around your house. Enjoy. All right, let's do this. All right, so initially I was planning on putting... Sorry, Shaga. I was planning on putting the exercise wheel somewhere down here. But then I figured, hmm, you know what? Let's put it higher so that like food doesn't get thrown on it. Less chances of pee and poo landing on it. And I just feel like it would be cleaner up here. All right, hold on. I actually got another goji berry for you. Here you go, sugar. Mm -hmm. Here you go. No. Do you want it or no? Okay, no. He's like, I just want to sleep. I've had enough berries. Okay, I'm gonna let him sleep. But meanwhile, I'm going to install the wheel. All right, guys, so let me show you what I did. Um, instead of putting it up there, <laughs> sorry, Shaga, I realized that when jumping from branch to branch to branch, that it might get in the way like it juts out from the wall here see about that far and i felt like it might get in the way of the jumping and it's important that the sugar gliders get that distance to jump and um, i've seen sugar jump from branch to branch so i decided to leave this kind of open and just move it down here i think it should be okay down here see and then um, i moved the food bowls far away so that food doesn't get thrown there Oh, I know. And yeah, good. Yay, the new wheel arrived. All right, let's end with a positive experience. Sorry, Shugs. Last gift. Here, a super worm. Yes, it's your favorite. Yes, all right. Gift accepted. He's like, okay, but don't come back. Good morning. Hi. Hi, Sugar. Good morning. Did you run on your wheel? Did you check out your new wheel? Hmm? Want me to give you a superworm? I'll get you a superworm. Wait. Here you go. Here you go. Here's a superworm. Come. Yes. You are so tame. Mm hmm. Mmm, yummy. Look at him. Eating that super worm. I wonder if he would be comfortable if I open the lights just a little bit. Good morning, guys. It's 4 a.m. right now. I wake up at 4 a.m. now. It's wonderful. Okay, let's see if he's okay with that light. I think you're okay with that light, right? So Mabuhai Squad can see how beautiful you are, and me too. Look at how cute he is. Just munching on that superworm like it's licorice. And there he goes, he's probably gonna go back in his pouch. So there guys, that is what a sugar glider looks like. His little munching sounds are so cute. Yes. Let's see what you ate. What did you eat? Hmm. Oh no, ants! <gasps> ants are stealing from you! Okay, he's gonna jump. I think he's gonna go back in his pouch. Um, there really is no way to get rid of the ants that will eat his food. But they're harmless to him. It's okay. But it looks like he ate a lot of the stuff I put in there. He's starting to really accept a wider variety of food like carrots they're gone and last night we gave him chicken breast he ate all the chicken breast so good yes you're eating all sorts of food hi 
It's me, the one who's always disturbing you during the day. Oh, is he gonna use his new wheel? Yes. <laughs> and guys, they're really fast. Don't worry, we're gonna get you a new friend very soon. So you guys could bond. Yeah. If I put my hand inside, would you be friends with me? Yeah, see? I'm gonna put my hand inside. He's gonna bite, but not like a friendly bite. Here, I'm gonna put my hand inside. You can come smell me if you like. Yeah, see? Yeah. It's me. And there he is, biting. But friendly bite. Hi. Oh, he's friendly. Okay, wait, I'm gonna like stick my whole arm inside. So you could come. Get acquainted with me. Hi, I'm the one. It's me, yes. I'm the one who's always disturbing you. Yeah, look at him grab my hand. Okay. Just no biting. You're allowed to grab, just no biting. No treats, no treats yet. I have to go downstairs to get them. Actually, I do have treats here. Wait. Oh, he went back in his sock. Come. Sugar. I got, I completely forgot that we have bird seed here. I keep my birds seed up here. Sugar, would you like to try a sesame seed? Come on, Shaga. Look, I got something for you. Or here, let's open this. You don't have to go pretend to go back to sleep. See, he's just pretending. It's not even your bedtime. Here. You gotta come out. Come. Yes. Come. Come on. Come on, come on, yes. Yep, here. Here, see? It's in my open palm. Will you jump? Will you come here and jump? Here, see? He's so cute. All right, I'm not gonna coax you out of the sock. I'll let you continue playing but here, you can have the... Do you want it? Sunflower? Here you go. Yum. Alright. Enjoy. Alright guys, so it is now 5 a.m. And I've had about an hour to just sit in silence by myself. Do a little bit of reading, do a little bit of work online, and I feel real productive. Now, I planned on doing this last night, but I got really sleepy. I'm looking for toads. I want to look for cane toads. I think during the day I'm going to go to the pond and look for those that are trapped. But I want to introduce them into my aviary inside um, to eat up roaches, because at night, I find that um, the roaches come out, I think from the drain, and they eat like any leftover food that the birds have thrown on the floor. So I'm thinking, let's introduce some cane toads, which are invasive, so it's a good thing if I take them out of the wild and put them in my aviary, and they could just kind of live there and emerge at night and eat all the roaches that crawl around in the night. Uh, I think at this time though, they're all looking for their hiding spot. So, let's, let's, let's just walk around the house and see. They're big guys, the toads, they're huge. Okay, I'll have a light so I can see. Here, toady, toadies, toadies. Man, I remember, oh, I heard something. I remember when I used to walk at this hour. Oh, toads. Kind of scared, I don't want to see any snakes. Is that a toad? No. 
I usually find them around here, like around my parents' room here. They're like eating up bugs and stuff that are attracted to the lights. Oh, speaking of which, maybe I could go towards the, there where there's a light. The toads are actually quite smart. They hang out where there's lights so that they could eat the bugs that are attracted to the light. Hmm. No. Yeah, guys, I don't see any. I'll have to look during the day. I'll have to check the pond because they're always trapped in there. Wow, guys, look at the moon. Beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. So here in the Philippines, the moon makes a smiley face. <laughs> like in Toronto, it's more of like a C. But here it's more like a smile. <laughs> Gosh, look at that morning sky. Beautiful! Good morning! Good morning, birds. How are you doing? Hmm. Look at the beautiful, beautiful birds here at the aviary. Busy destroying branches and stuff. They had breakfast already. Yes. Look at them wearing down their beaks, destroying their branches. All the way up there too, destroying their branches. But this is what they're basically meant to do. Gotta wear down those beaks somehow. Hi there, so beautiful. Guys, it's a gorgeous morning. Good morning, Melody. She came running when she heard me. Hi, good morning. All right guys, so ongoing work currently. Hello, good morning. Ongoing work currently here at the pond. Uh, let's see if we can find a toad. No, I don't see any right now. They're adding lining, I see. Nope, no toads down here. Guys, I cannot wait for our pond to finally be done. Again, <laughs> leak free. So we could fill the water like at the right level of where it's supposed to be. That'll be awesome. Gosh, I love the combination of plants, see? Look at this, it's like bright purple, gorgeous leaves. So healthy too. Right, Melody? So healthy, just like you. You're so healthy. Mm-hmm, look at your beautiful eyes, wow. Guys, cats are always modeling. This is what I've discovered. You can't take a bad picture of them. They're just stunning. And what's unique about Melody is she's always been so friendly to us to people in general. Most of the stray cats that live in the area, they run away from people. They're just scared, but not Melody here. Let's check out the other iguanas. Adam and Eve, they're about to get a lot of sunlight. Ooh, it's so warm today. Hi guys. Good morning. Oh, you guys are shedding. I can see from the tail. You guys are shedding. Mm-hmm. What a gorgeous morning, guys. Ooh, sun is beaming. For sure, I'm gonna swim later. See, there's Polly the robot in there. Yay! So guys, today is a work day for me. I'm editing the Ants Canada video due tonight. So for most of the day, I will be inside working. That's okay. I enjoy it. Ooh guys, look at what just came in the mail. The sugar glider pouches that RJ ordered. Yay! So we no longer have to use a sock. <laughs> we can now use... Thanks, Ve. Honestly, when we first got the sugar glider, he immediately went online and ordered a bunch of stuff. Yay! Okay, so I guess we'll... Because I want to bond with him tonight. Or today, rather. During the day while I'm editing. So maybe I can get his sock and put it in here. Let's try that. And there's a lot more room here, see? For him to, like, relax. It's softer. It's just so much nicer. And it's got some like Chinese writing. All right, gonna bond with him, but of course, gotta get my my little treat ready. Goji berry, he likes these. I try to like alternate between sweet and then like nut and then protein. So, you know, it's like a different flavor because I find with sugar, he doesn't like, 
two treats in a row that are sweet. He won't eat nuts like twice. He won't take insects twice in a row. It's gotta be varied. Okay guys, watch this. Hi, Suga. Good morning, Shugs. Hi, Suga. Okay, he's not making the sound. Suga, I got a gift for you. He's so sleepy. Hi, here. Suga, here. There we go, there's the sound. It's okay, I got, I got a treat for you. Come. And then you're gonna come bond with me. Go ahead. Yep. Goji berry. Look at him. Half awake. No? You don't want a goji berry? Yes? No? Maybe so? Okay. Rejected. It's okay. It's just me. I know. I know. They're like, let me sleep. Let me sleep. But this is all part of the process, okay? I know. I, I won't hurt you. I know. Okay, how do we do this? I'm just gonna put your sock inside. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. I know, the part smells very different. This is a new home. Alright. Would you like a super worm? Super worm? Super worm? Whoa. All right. Look at Zahira. She's like, what is that? I've been hearing that for the past couple of days. It's nothing, Zahira. Nothing to be alarmed about. Tell me what it is. I can smell it. It's a creature, isn't it? Let me at it. <laughs> That's what she's saying. Wait here. Hey, wait. Sahara out. Out now. Wait out here. <laughs> oh boy, these dogs. What I like about this pouch, which is kind of new, different from what I'm used to, is that it's got like some girth and like some rigidness to it. So if I were to put it in my shirt, it, I'm not scared that the sugar glider would get squished. Whereas when it was a sock, it was like, I had to feel, I had to be careful not to squish it. But now instead of like a, a belly bump, I got breasts. Yeah, and they're pointy. Oh my guys. <gasps> RJ did something to the aviary and I love it. He asked me if he could plant some plants in the old water fountains. Remember these huge pots we had made? They were quite expensive, but we in, they were supposed to be waterfalls, like three different sort of sprinkler waterfalls. But then I realized they weren't parrot safe because the parrots could fall in and drown. And plus they were very hard to clean. Um, so decided to scrap that idea and we moved these pots to the roof deck. But RJ saw, apparently saw something online and it inspired him to do this. And what do you guys, th I actually like it. That looks a lot better. I mean, this could use some work. We could hide that. Um, we got my bromeliad collection there at the bottom. Oh, but somehow it just, the energy feels better. RJ's so good. What do you guys think, Mabu High Squad? Do you like it? Ooh, now let's hope the parrots don't land here and like destroy the plants. Because these ground plants were left alone by the birds for, well, since the beginning. But now that we're elevating it, like, more to their level, let's hope they don't destroy. Hi, guys. Oh, I like it. Uh, it looks good. See? Like, I'm going to back up. Back up a little bit. Ooh, that's so cute. Love it. Love it a lot. Good energy. Here's Rizal and Brittany. Hi, guys. Hello. Guys, I'm all finished my work for today. Yay, finished early again. Love when I do that. And I'm going to go swimming with RJ. Yay. Guys, in the pool now. We've been here for like an hour just talking about stuff. Talking about plans. 
um, about the farm lot. If you guys saw the last vlog, guys, we're developing our farming side. I'm so excited. We're also talking about animal cages, right? You bought like more structures for animal cages, yay. And you know what else we've been talking about? Um, going to North America. Guys, we're gonna be going back to Toronto at some point. Yay, I hope I could do a meet and greet. Um, probably might be going to the US as well. Uh, but yeah, we've got, we have lots of work to do before we leave. I think it'll either be September or October. Um, so yeah, that would be interesting. I miss home. I'm originally from Toronto, Canada. That's where my family is. I grew up there, I was born there. Um, and I haven't been back there since before the pandemic, so 2019. So I'm looking forward to going back home. And yeah, being with my family there, seeing my friends and taking you guys there. And as well going to US um, and taking you guys along as well, as usual. Guys, we're looking at the sky. Look at the sky. And the bats are coming. The bats are out, yay! Love the evening sky, guys. So pretty today. So it's 6.22 in the evening right now. But at this time of the year, the days are slightly longer. Like here in the Philippines, usually around 6-ish, it gets dark. But at this time of the year, the days are slightly longer. So sunset happens a little bit later. It's 6.22 right now. And whoop, those bats are so cool to watch. Look at, look at how erratic their flying patterns are as they catch bugs and stuff. They're gonna come here soon, guys, and start drinking from the pool. But look at the colors of the sky. Isn't that nice? Gosh, so beautiful out here. Even there, wow, look at that sky. A blaze. Thank you, Lord. At this time, like this really pretty amber light bathes the house. See? Such a really nice color. You, I don't know if the vlog does it justice because my mobile just automatically color corrects. But it's just a, such a pretty, pretty, pretty color. Okay, guys, we're going inside. One of our neighbors is smoking their garbage or leaves and stuff. Um, that's one of the things about here in the Philippines. There kind of isn't a rule against burning stuff. Farmers will burn, you know, leaves and people will burn their garbage. Um, and when they do, we just go inside. Let's go. Guys, RJ's been cooking scallops and shrimp cooked in garlic, white and black rice. We got Mai Mai and tuna, pan frying, and pechai. Oh, healthy. Guys, you saw me eat this meal in the last vlog, so I'm not gonna really vlog it too much. Mm. Mm. Oh. So good. Home meals. There's my chef. There's my beautiful, beautiful chef, Anate Elsie. I'm so lucky. Are any of you guys good cooks? Or are you a professional eater like myself? And of course, freshly scrambled eggs. So healthy. Yay, here's the pet chai. Guys, we're preparing Suga's dinner. Of course, we've got the mix, the Cerelac that he's been having. Um, and then we've been adding more and more like solid foods. So today I give him a little bit of the pet chai, a little bit of carrot, a little bit of dragon fruit, some banana. In terms of fruit, he really, really loves pineapple. Uh, but I don't think we have any pineapple currently. But just trying to give him a good variety. We're gonna mix the Cerelac in here. And then guys, this is chicken breast. He loves chicken breast. Sorry, it looks pink because we use the same scissors that we cut the dragon fruit. Not because it's bloody. Um, last night he ate all the chicken breast pieces that we put. He loves it. It's a good protein source. 
and little pieces of nuts. In this case, it's almond. Guys, I just love food prep for animals. I love it so much. I like knowing that my animals get top nutrition. Something so gratifying about it. Even when, like with our birds, I just love that they eat healthy. Mmm, look how good that looks. All right, let's bring it to sugar. Okay, I'm gonna start from back here. Oh, sugar, sugar. Oh, honey, honey, ten, 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 ten. You're my sugar glider. And there he goes. <laughs> Hi, it's me again. I've got your food. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's not so loud. It's, it's like a soft, a soft light. I hate you. Get away. I got your food here. Mmm, tasty food. Yes. Mmm. Let's give him a piece of chicken. Hi, sugar. It's gonna be your morning soon. You're gonna be up soon. Oh, there you are. Hi there. Here. I've got a gift. Oh, MG, I think he's... Are you out of the sock? I wonder. Are you in the sock or out of the sock? Let me see. He's out of the sock. Oh, good. Okay. So I could remove the sock now. Look at him hanging on. He's like, no! Not my sock! This pouch is much better. It's spacious, right? I know. Hi. Mmm, <laughs> there you go. Aw, thank you, sock, for being a good temporary home for our sugar. But this is a much more spacious and comfortable pouch. And, I mean, Apparently, Suga thinks so too, because he moved in himself. Awesome! Yay! Ah, <laughs> look! Hey, lizard, 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 lizard! Little gecko. Hi there! Alright guys, now my goal is to catch at least one toad. Just one! And I've got my trusty head flashlight. Thanks to our good friend Joshua. You remember when Joshua was at our place, right? All right, let's look for a toad. He wants to go in the aviary. Okay, the toads are usually here. Like, always here. Guys, I can't believe I'm hunting for toads. But again, this is a good thing because cane toads are invasive. They outcompete native amphibians. Um, they're toxic to dogs. So if ever my dogs were to like try to eat one or even bite one. They have, well, I'll show you when I catch one. They've got like these glands on the sides of their heads that release a toxin that can make dogs really sick. They're just not good news. All right, come on toads, where are ya? Hey Rizal, do you see any toads? Where are the toads? Hmm? Oh my gosh, I see one right there on the stairs. It's medium sized, it's not huge. They get bigger than this, but this will be big enough. Okay, caught ya, got ya. It's gonna try to pee, wait, wait Rizal. Stay away from it. Oh, stay away I said. Okay, so see, wait Rizal, you're freaking it out. See these glands? on the sides of its head, these like bulbous sacs here, they release a toxin. This here is called a parotid gland. And yeah, it produces a toxin. So if my dogs were to bite this and eat some of that toxin, ah, can even kill, kill the dog. All right, caught one. I'm gonna try to catch more. All right, let's try to find one more. <clears throat> I wanna find a real, real big one because the bigger they are, the higher chance it will eat the big roaches in my aviary. Now, some of you might be wondering, Mikey, how do you know so much? Why are you such a nerd with animals? Well, I was that kid growing up who went to the library. I grew up in the age when we didn't have internet, right? I was in the library often. Oh, there's another toad, I see it. And I would always get animal books. 
learning about different animals and insects and bugs. No, oh, oh. so fast. Ah, oh, this is a small one. No, no, no. Landon is here. He's helping me catch it. That's a big one. There it is. I see it. Okay, where'd it go? Got it. Yes, got ya. Wow. See, their first response is to pee and like try to deter you. This is good. Wow, you're a handsome one. All right, so these two toads look very different. Are they both cane toads? Any experts out there? To me, this one looks like a cane toad. And look at how huge it is. What is this one? Is that a native toad? Or is that just, is this a male and a female? Okay. Anyways, they're going in my aviary. All right, in the aviary we go. All right, oh my gosh, the dogs are going crazy. All right, toads, welcome to your new home. There is a lot of food here, tons. Go, enjoy, run free, run free, go, go. Sorry birds, didn't mean to disturb you guys. Hi. They're like, what's going on? Let's name this light colored one, Wilbur. And where'd the, where'd the female go? Is that the male and is that the female? I don't know, all you toad experts out there. Now what's cool about the aviary is, it gets washed during the day um, and little puddles of water form and they kind of like stick around all day. So it, the floor is rather damp, which is good for the toads because their skin needs to remain damp and they can hide under these pots where it's dark and moist and cool during the day but just in case i've placed a shallow thing of water there for the toads to soak and we could just wash that out every day so no mosquitoes lay their eggs and stuff in there now some of you might be asking aren't you afraid of the toads poisoning your birds no, because the birds never come down to ground level, ever. And at night, they sleep. See, the conures are there. And the blue napes are probably way up there. As soon as night hits, they sleep, and then the toads wake up. So, I'm not worried at all. The toads can also, like, hide here during the day. Um, they can hide behind those pots back there, where it's nice and cool and damp. <laughs> Good morning, yes, gorgeous, gorgeous morning, see, mm, house is smelling really good, um, I guess the floors have been done already, hi birds, hi there, ooh, nice sunrise, I see the parrots up there, I believe that up there is Gabriella, the conures are here. Hi there. Hi guys. Good morning. The three stooges here. Look at Marcelo crowing at the sun. Oh no, wait. Is that Marcelo? I don't know anymore. Parrots are like roosters, basically. Look at this one knocking at the window. Knock, knock. Who's there? Good morning. Hi, sugar. It's just me. That's a quiet sound now. It's not as loud as it used to be. I think we're making progress. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. I got a super warm for you. Here. Here. Yes, good morning, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Can I stick my hand inside? Would you bite me? Let's see. Will you bite me if I stick my hand inside to pet you? I was, I was petting his tail yesterday and he actually, he seemed to really like it. Hi there, oh this new pouch is awesome. Yeah. Hi there, Shoga. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can I pet you now? I'm your friend. Yes. Success, guys. Success. You gonna bite me? Good boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kiss my hand.
<laughs> He's like, I'm still gonna bite you. I get him grab my grab my finger. It's okay. There you go, see? Oh my gosh guys, the progress. Eventually it'll get to the point where he's so used to me that I can stick my hand inside and he'll fall asleep. But this is progress guys. Like remember the first day he would lunge at me? Yes. And this is how the bonding process happens with sugar gliders. Yeah. Hey. Okay, he's biting. Okay, bite. Hey. Now he's biting me. He's finished this super worm. He's like, I'm gonna bite you now. But it's more like a, hey. See? I know. You're a social animal. Yes. Well, it's okay. Stay in the pouch. Mm-hmm. You like to be cuddled. I know. See, isn't it nice having a friend, not being just alone? I'm looking for a companion for you, but you have to be, you have to be socialized first so that the new companion can also be well-trained. Good sugar. Mabuhay squad, this is progress. <sighs> he stopped biting me too. He's letting me pet him. Okay, yes. We're bonded now, yay. We're friends, yay. Are we friends now? Hmm? I can pet you now? Yes. On the first day, you would lunge at me and make scary noises. But we're friends now. Yeah, good morning. Guys, this is what it's all about. This is what makes it worthwhile. One of those sugar glider joys, I guess when your sugar glider finally makes a breakthrough and realizes you're a friend. Now, we'll further strengthen the bond by continually having him sleep under our shirt. I want him to bond to RJ. RJ's still a bit afraid of him because this is RJ's dream pet, not, not mine. Uh, and then also some interaction sometime in the night. I'll, we'll like have Sugar run around a bathroom and then they c he can interact with us, like run around our body and stuff while he's awake and active. Yes, but right now he is letting me pet him. So good. And I would say this was fairly fast. I think this took four days to reach this point in our relationship. Um, sometimes it takes a week, sometimes two weeks for the really stubborn and like scared sugar gliders, but sugar was already very well accustomed to being around people. I could just tell. All right, Mabu High Squad. So I'm gonna continue spending time with sugar here. Thank you so much for watching this super long vlog. I know it's long now. Really appreciate the support and you guys being part of this crazy, always different journey called life um, really means a lot to us. And guys, if you enjoyed today's vlog, be sure to hit that like button as it really helps us a lot. It lets YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences. And I know you guys have been doing that, so thank you. And also, okay, sorry, I startled him. Also, hit that subscribe button. Join our mobile high squad. Sorry. He doesn't like me talking. Join our mobile high squad. We will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. I'm going to continue petting him. See you in the next vlog. Mm -hmm.